Hey there riders, Moto Journo Chris here today and I have got KTM's 390 Adventure thanks to Moto Hub in Castle Hill in Sydney. They've very kindly lent me the bike for the day and I'm getting a first hand chance to properly look at this bike. Now I was pretty excited to hear about this bike being released when they announced it at EICMA. I'm even more excited now having actually seen what is offered on this bike because there's just so much to it. Now these bikes are just under 9,000 on the road here in Australia. So they're a little bit of a step up from some of the more basic options like the Versys X300, but there's a huge amount of features which very easily justify that price. So of course the absolute basics, it's the 373cc single cylinder engine that KTM is so renowned for in the LAMS category. That is their LAMS engine. And of course that has been tuned and geared differently for the more adventure styled bike but there are heaps and heaps of features. One of the ones which probably is gonna stand out and I heard a lot of complaints about when talking about the original announcement was the fact that it's got these cast wheels as standard instead of spoked wheels. And it does have a 19 inch front, that's a 2.5 inch wide and a 17 inch rear, which is a 3.5 inch wide tire, I should mention on both of those. So, you know, you're getting kind of that off-road style motorcycle, but it's not to the extremes that some people obviously expected. I do believe you can pick up a spoked wheel as an option. However, it doesn't come standard with those. I Obviously you're getting really cool LED lighting. You're getting an adjustable screen, which is quite a nice feature for an entry-level motorcycle. You're getting hand protectors, you're getting great vision through those mirrors. You've got a TFT display, which again, a very premium feature on bikes in this kind of segment. On the front end, other points of note, which are really, really cool, is the WP Apex suspension, those forks. Uh, that is adjustable suspension. That is not something that you will find on most machines like this in the category. So that's quite a big feature, I think, on this particular machine. You're also getting, and you can't see it due to the side of the bike we're looking at at the moment, a 320 mil front rotor, which again, nice big rotor, and it's got a four piston radial caliper. So again, very much KTM putting the high spec components on, whether that's the suspension or the brakes. Now moving back down the bike, you've got a 14 and a half liter fuel tank, which is a pretty generous fuel tank for this kind of style bike. Obviously not on the enormous side of things. However, still I think that's well within reason. You're getting adjustable levers, very, very cool. You're actually getting cornering ABS on this particular machine, which again, super premium feature. And the ABS also comes with an off-road mode so that you can have a little bit more fun and have a little bit more freedom with the rear ABS as far as using it a bit off-road and using the brakes and things like that. So a very nice feature from KTM. Another thing worth mentioning is that there is motorcycle traction control on this model. So for a lot of new riders, if you're a little bit worried about jumping onto a motorcycle for the first time, the 390 Adventure offers a really, really strong adventure package. So again, you're paying a little bit more, but there are some really good features which justify that cost. And particularly if you're going off road, and again, you don't have that much confidence, a traction control system is gonna help keep you in one piece. Now moving back along the bike from that 14 and a half liter tank, we've got this nice, quite wide, generous seat. Uh, it's quite narrow between the legs, but you know, you've got a good bit, of, good bit of width at the back here for comfort. You've also got a pretty generous pillion position on the back here, a pillion seat, which is good. Two piece seat. There are no bolts as far as removing these seats. You just use the key to pull the rear one off and that holds the front seat in place. So that could not be easier. You've got nice grab rails on the back here and no doubt adding a bit of luggage to this is gonna be an absolute easy job as a result of that. Also that rear trellis subframe can be removed with four bolts. So there's been a good bit of design thought put into this particular motorcycle for some of the modifications that people might be considering to do. You do have a very, very cool looking exhaust here, but I do have to say, as you'd expect for the bikes coming out of Europe, the exhaust is pretty quiet. You've got kind of that thump from the engine itself. You've got a little bit of noise. You know the bike is running and everything like that, but I think the exhaust will probably be something that most people change pretty quickly for, you know, for a little bit more character on this particular bike. Uh, the seat height, 815 mils. It's on the taller side for lambs or beginner motorcycles, but very, very reasonable for adventure or like enduro slash dual sport models. So that's a nice compromise there. I'm 180 centimeters. I can get one foot down flat with no issues at all. 
I'm just that tiny little bit too short to get both feet down flat on the tarmac. However, if I was in my adventure boots, that would not be a problem. As far as the pegs, you've got the more off-road style pegs with a rubber insert in them so that the, uh, you know, the general road use isn't going to be an issue and you can pull those out when you need a bit more grip from those pegs. They're a reasonably narrow peg as well. Uh, you've got the grippy shifter as well, so there's quite a bit of you know, the more dirt orientated features when it comes to this particular motorcycle. On the rear, you do have a 230mm rotor with a two-piston caliper. Uh, the ABS system, as I mentioned, is cornering, so quite a high-tech feature for this kind of style bike. And, of course, you've got a pretty minimal fender on the rear of the bike here, which, you know, is quite a stylish kind of feature, considering that a lot of these bikes have quite an enormous one. And, of course, that's going to add a little bit of protection as far as fling off the rear wheel. Uh, indicators, nice high quality indicators. You know, there's a bit of movement in them. I don't know whether people getting really serious off-road might consider changing those for something that's gonna be uh, either cheaper to replace or, you know, something with a little bit move, more movement in the stem so they don't get broken, but a nice high quality LED indicator on these, which again, nice premium feature, which comes standard on the bike. One thing that's really worth mentioning for this particular model is the fact that you can get an accessory quick shifter up and down because of course fueling is ride by wire. There's a Bosch EMS system for this particular bike. And I gotta say, I reckon the uh, quick shifter, apparently it's quite reasonable. I think I heard around the $300 mark uh, here in Australia, which is very, very good value for a quick shifter. That could really add a little bit of, uh, little bit of extra fun to this particular machine. And as I stated, that is an optional accessory that you can buy through KTM. So the 390 Adventure here in Australia, $9,000 right away or just under that. There's a lot of features. It's quite a high spec machine, particularly for this category. It seems to be leading in that adventure kind of almost you know moving into the dual sport category. I think this is a little bit more road orientated than some of those options. However, you know, it's simply a matter of picking the bike that's right for you and the type of riding you're doing. Uh, I've been very, very lucky to get this bike from Moto Hub in Castle Hill in Sydney. That's my local Kawasaki KTM and Husqvarna dealer. So a big thanks to them. Check them out if you're looking for servicing or accessories or anything like that. Uh, I definitely recommend them. That's where we get the Kawasaki serviced. And of course, if you've enjoyed the video, let me know your comments down below. Don't forget to sub and stay safe out there and have a good one.